Alrighty, so it's time for another video. I am again a little late, uh, one week late. So if I usually, if I miss a, a week, I'll try to get it the next week after that. The the reality is is that uh, you know university started for me, and so that makes it really difficult to you know stay on track with all this stuff. I'm busy studying and kind of you know dealing with all my classes. I've already got exams coming up, like midterms and all that. So again, I apologize for you know uploading late. So let's get this update going. So today is if we can get the date rolling i think it's like the 30th january 30th there we go january 30th uh it is 11 15 p.m and um the that is central time the price of bitcoin is currently thirty six thousand eight hundred and forty two dollars so it's down pretty hard from the max that it's ever been uh but that's kind of no biggie i'm not really i'm not really worried about that so now, one thing to talk about. So let's first go over our, you know, basic history. Um, so our one week average, let's go ahead and take a look at all this kind of stuff. So we are at 0 0.00039942 Bitcoin per 24 hours. That's on the last week. That's about $14.76. On the last day, we're at $15.54. So we've gone up just a little bit. And then if we look at the past six hours, we're back down. And um, yeah, but something to note if you've noticed here i've got a couple of uh i guess high points that just randomly came up and the reason for that is is that i did kind of add another rig but not really right and it looks like the price of bitcoin just updated to almost thirty-seven thousand. but yeah so um basically i've been you know running everything uh you know as i have been but i added one more worker here and this one has been a little on and off and uh, i'll kind of explain what it is and I don't expect this one to stick around, just to be real with you. So we can just look on the past week. I've only just started a little while ago. And uh, if we look while we were running, if this is gonna work with me, uh, while we were running, we were at about uh, about a dollar a day or something, a little bit over, maybe a dollar a day. And so just to explain now, the way that I was doing this is, is that I've been on Shadow Tech. As you guys might know, that's this, uh, Basically, it's a mobile way to access an extra PC. So this is just like, I'm just live streaming this PC basically and it's running on a separate server. And so I just decided, you know, why not just for testing purposes, I'll go ahead and pick this thing up and see how we can do. And so because this is not my PC, I'm like, screw it. We're gonna, we're gonna CPU mine and we're gonna GPU mine. And uh, the reason for that is, is that usually Man, it won't load in. But usually CPU mining is not really uh, profitable on, you know, because you end up spending more on electricity. But here I'm not paying for electricity. I'm just paying monthly fee uh, in order to access this. So um, basically I've been paying about, I think it's about 30, 33, $34 uh, per month. And so if we're looking at getting about uh, $1 on that, like per day, that is actually not so bad. I'm not really worried about that. A dollar, a dollar a day. I mean, that basically covers it. And as we know, I mean, the price is down a little bit right now. I'm assuming if it was back up at 60, you can even expect a dollar 50 a day, and that's pretty good. Now, one other thing to note: um, these guys are not going to be happy about me doing this, right? So I'm sure Shadow Tech at one point will end up banning me from from using this. But I just kind of want to do it for testing purposes, right? And uh, kind of see what kind of hash rate we get and what kind of, you know, everything we get. So what I ended up with was a GPU. It's an NVIDIA Quadro P5000. These are damn expensive. Um, but I, I don't know how they're using it. Maybe they're because they're, you know, it's a server. I don't know. Maybe they get special pricing. I just have no clue. But it's actually doing pretty well. So here, for some reason, it's not. Uh, I think we're still benchmarking. Yeah, that explains it. Uh, we're still benchmarking, and I have a lot of benchmarks set up, uh, so we're still waiting on a lot of this stuff. But just so you know, on CowPow, we're getting uh, 16 mega hashes, which is not so bad. And I believe on Dagger Hashimoto, we were getting around 20 mega hash per second, and that's without any uh, afterburner settings, without any um, kind of whatever uh, overclock settings on that. So again, I've actually been pretty happy with this. Now, here is the actual problem, right? I've been trying to use this mouse wiggler or whatever it's called, right? So that's what keeps this uh, this computer awake technically, right? But the problem is, is that uh, it doesn't actually end up staying awake. After about 30 minutes, the shadow just shuts down the PC and I have to come back in and log in. So I'm still trying to find a solution for that. I'm thinking maybe get some keystrokes in or something like that that can run every, I don't know, X amount of time. and. Uh, 
I kind of go from there so it makes it look like I'm active on this. So either I'm going to get banned or, you know, this might work. We'll kind of see. And as you can see, the, the mouse right there is just moving along by itself. I don't know if you can see that right there. So uh, let's see how that ends up working out. And, you know, if... Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but uh, regardless. So uh, I'm pretty happy with it other than that, though. I mean, we can refresh this real quick and see if all of our devices are up and running. I guess not yet because of that last one. Yeah, that's what it is. We're still benchmarking on this one. But regardless, though, like I said, about, you know, 20 mega hash per second on uh, Ethereum, which is uh, pretty good here. And uh, I was thinking about moving some Chia onto there too, but it looks like for an extra 20, or uh, for an extra two terabytes, they want you to pay like, I think another like 20, $30 a month. And that ends up just not working out, right? Because two terabytes of Chia, uh, I really shouldn't be talking about Chia. This is the GPU update video, but you know, I was I wanted to make it work, but you know, ended up not really working out uh, because of the expenses uh, related to that. Other than that, things are going good. Uh, looks like this guy is not running for whatever reason, uh, but I'll I'll work on all this kind of stuff and get everything running again. But uh, again, I'm not super disappointed. Like things are fine, um, but uh, let's kind of see where we can go with all this. Alrighty, I don't know really what else to say. So uh, again, if I'm late on uh, on videos, I apologize. I'm trying to keep up to date as best as I can, but uh, it is just difficult because my, my schedule is just getting really busy. Um, but other than that, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll get back to you on the next one.